Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fada, your friend guide and instructor in this channel. In this video, we're gonna look at the next tool which is Blend Tool. You guys know the meaning of Blend, which transforms its shape, its color from one to another slowly so you cannot see the difference between these two colors, these two shapes or whatever it is. That's how Blend works. Let's go to the computer screen and let's see how Blend Tool works. This is the tool we are talking about for using the blend tool let me show you guys the first thing which is in colors this is the one shape let's change this color to red let's take a copy and change this color to something now select both of them go to your blend tool click on this one then click on the top line then you can see the color is slowly slowly blended from green to red how else can we use the blend tool for example let's take a circle and let's consider a star if i select both of them go to your blend click on the first one at the bottom one then click on the second one from circle it will blend and it will shape the last shape which will be the star you guys have the options in blend tool double click on it the blend options will appear if you can't work in your double click or if your mouse doesn't work go to the objects come to the blend and blend option here is where you can edit the blend option or blend tool let's do control z so we can do our changes and see the differences it is smooth the spacing is smooth let's change it to steps now if i add two steps and then blend them it will only create two shapes because we gave them the direction of two spaces and if i click on this go to 200 space now if i click and blend them then there won't be any line left or space left it will shape it from circle to star if you can't see it or if it isn't visible let's do what change the color of first and bottom shape to red then select both of them click on blend tool click on this one and this one then you can see the difference it blended from the red to green if you change its color to white and it will change from white to green next what can we do with blend tool let me write something go to your type tool write this right further Chain to the bottle. Then right click on it, create outline. Let's take a copy of it, scale it up, and change its color to, to red. That is fine. Select both of them, go to blend, click on this, then click on this. It will create a 3D logo. You can take another copy of it, select both of them blend them and then bring this back and change its color to something then you can see the exact 3d form it got to the design we blend two options we blend two shapes then we give another color to the top of it so i can see my top shape clearly what else can we do in our blend tool for example we can also use blends in our splines for example if you go to your object and go to blend this is how you can make and release your blend if you don't want this blend click on it go to options blend release blend then it will be unblended if you go back to blend make blend then it will be blended again the options we talked about you can set the steps you can set it smooth they expand when you expand it then it will not be editable anymore right click on it ungroup it all the layers you have will be separated to different layers till the last one so this is what expand means you can expand it from do expand here is also the expand option you have for any object not just blend if you guys have done 3d you can also 
expand your 3D appearance. If you have strokes, you can expand strokes. Then when we go back to client, we have replace on spline. How can we do the spline thing on this? Let's create a circle first. And let's add some gradient. Change the color to yellow. Bright yellow. And this one to orange. Change the gradient direction to something like this here. Scale it down, take a copy, select both of them and blend them. This is the first step. Now, how can you apply it on spline? This is my reference, first of all. Let's write, hey. Now what can we do if you go on your splend and spline is not available unless you select both of them. Then click on your object, go to splide. What it does when you click on it, it puts this shape or this design you have blended on the direction of the hay you have written. What else can we do? Let's decrease the size. Select both of them. Go to your object, blend and blend on spline. If you want to make it more smoother, go back or undo with Ctrl Z, select this one, click on your object, blend, release blend, go to the blend options, Let's increase space to from 500 to 600. Okay. And blend them. You can blend it from here as well. And we can also go back to object, blend and make blend. Select both of them, object, blend and blend to spline. Now it's more smoother than earlier. We can go back, go to the object, blend, blend option. Let's do it 1000. Blend them. Select both of them. Come to blend and blend on spline. Now it's smooth, smoother than it was earlier. You can see how nice it looks. It looks something like 3D colors or 3D pipe we have. We can resize each circle of them by double click on them so it is isolated click it and resize it you can see the top section is thicker and the bottom one is thinner we can make it more thin this is how my spline or make to spline works or a place to spline works we can go back to our blend the next one is reverse spline so the thickness will come to the bottom and the thinness will go to the top. Now the next one you have is reverse front to back. These lines you can see they are in the back. These are in the front. Now if you click on it, the back line will come over the front line. Then this one will be the back and this one will be the front. Click on it. So this was the blend tool. I hope you guys understood. If you liked the video and you got something from it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and make your friends subscribe it too. Thank you guys.